everyone how y'all doing i hope you're doing well and we are back with here another video um a little bit different compared to normal so today my video is ding 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 um yes it's in a basket it was just easier to bring it all up so i'm gonna show you i guess this video is like a cleaning like my favorite cleaning product slash haul so yeah i'm gonna basically show you all my cleaning products that i love to use if you like me you obviously know if you know who i am shall i say you know that i'm obsessed with cleaning things and things like that so i thought why not do a little video on it why not show you what cleaning products i like and see if you like them as well so let's make a video of it so that's what i'm doing so if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and let's just get straight into the video So, I am basically just going to show you, if you don't already know and haven't read the title and haven't listened to my introduction, I am going to show you my favourite products. So we're just going to get straight into it, because um, yeah, I'm obsessed with cleaning. I clean my house like every day, like I spend like at least two hours a day cleaning my house. If I'm off work, I'll have a lie in in the morning, I'll get up, I'll clean, I'll take the dog off a walk, I'll come back, I'll clean my house for two hours and then I'll get ready and then I'll get some eat, blah, 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 as my day goes on. If I'm at work, I'll get up at like six in the morning, I'll get up, I'll clean downstairs, while downstairs floors are drying, I'll come upstairs, I'll go to the bathroom, clean the bathroom, I'll get ready and then I'll take the dog out and then I'll come back and finish off changing the bed sheets and polishing, hoovering, you know, all the boring stuff. Um... So yeah, I'm like obsessed with cleaning. Like if I haven't cleaned my house, I am like the most miserable person ever. I feel like I haven't accomplished my day unless I've cleaned my house. So I'll go through cleaning products like no tomorrow, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite ones. Um, so we're gonna start with the bathroom. So for the bathroom, I like to use the Flash Bathroom for Breeze Long Last and Shine Removes. Basically, it's it lasts ages compared to like other products. Um, and it just smells unreal. I don't think it's got any bleach in it, to be honest. So that is a plus side because I am horrendous with getting bleach stains on all my clothes. Um, and it just smells like Febreze. Like, it smells unreal. Like, you put all that on your bath, on your sink, and like that, rub it in. And it makes your bathroom smell unreal. You don't even have to just use it in the bathroom. Like, you could use it. In your kitchen if you really wanted to i wouldn't but like any kitchen sink that's what i mean not like your kitchen benches um but it just smells unreal and it just smells like febreze so it doesn't have that some people don't like the smell of bleach i don't really like the smell of bleach um so this is the best thing for me because it doesn't leave a horrible bleachy smell some people love the smell of it some people don't i don't i'm one of them people who don't i like the fresh cotton like soft cotton smells um the other thing for the bathroom is so i'll put that all over like the bath and things like that and i'll use it um one of them i don't know what they're called the little scrubby things and i'll scrub it all over that and then i'll spray this on like the toilets and the taps to like polish them um antibacterial white blossom water marks soap scrubs no streaks so basically i use this on like my shower screen on my taps um, and on the toilet because it like leaves no lines and I'll, basically I use this as a polish in my bathroom but like I say it also smells unreal and it kills viruses plus side kills viruses so they're the two things I use to clean like my sinks and that for my toilet I use duck all the time this is a limited edition one so this is floral moon I've never had this one before it just came out I said this is limited edition and basically I don't think basically it just smells unreal like it doesn't leave like horrible stains on your toilet nothing like that you put i leave this on my toilet for about five minutes and my whole bathroom smells of this stuff like smells unreal you've got to have stuff that smells strong and these are the three they're obviously they're the three things that i use in my bathroom to make it smell nice you know it's a bathroom you know it's where you do your business you need to keep on top of it smelling nice um so the next thing is for like, so for my washing clothes and things like that, I use different softeners for different things. So the one I like to use on my bedding and for like my dressing gowns and like my living room throws and things like that, I use the Comfort Fresh Skies. 
um so it's like an intense smell obviously it's like yeah it's just a really intense smell but it smells unreal um it's just really intense basically you wash your clothes and like i say i've I washed my bed and then it's just hanging there drying at the minute because my radiators are full i've been at work all weekend so my radiators are full so i'm gonna put let it uh, dry on the door for the minute and it just the smell of it the smell of your clothes and the air dry just this smell goes around your whole house like i love using that for like my bedding and dressing gowns and drawers and things like that but like but then for every day today washing like you know your tops your pants your bra your knicker well your underwear your socks and things like that i use the comfort strawberry and lily one um it just smells unreal pretty much it just, I don't know, it just smells like strawberries and I like the smell of it. Because I could use the Comfort Fresh Skies and like all my clothes. But I feel like when I'm wearing it all day I'm, I, and smell it, it's probably intense. Because it is intense. It's not bad smell like it, but I feel like it makes it a bit itchy. I don't know why, I think it's just so intense. So I use this stuff on all my clothes and things like that. And it's not as harsh smell, you can still smell my perfume. If I use that one, you can't really smell my perfume. Because that, is, you don't need perfume when you use that, to be honest not gonna lie in my opinion um i also like the pink stuff um based in the miracle purpose cleaner same thing again i use this in my kitchen on my kitchen benches um on my cooker i use it on my cooker if i use my cooker i, I use this and um, because you know when you use a cooker it gets everything gets really greasy and this is a cleaner spray for hard surfaces. It's tough on stains, removes grease and grime, leaving shiny clean results. And it literally does, as it says on the back of the bottle, it does that. So I use this on my kit, on my um, cooker, my microwave. My if I'm cleaning my deep fryer, I might use it to wipe that down because obviously that's so greasy after using deep fryer. So I might use it for that. So that is the other thing I like to use. Um, the wipes I like to use for like cleaning like, my bathroom down or cleaning benches down, cleaning anything down. Um, I don't use, these are just from Aldi, the antibacterial surface wipe. They don't have bleaching. Um, they're non-bleach. They've got a fresh smell. And for 80 wipes for like 70p and they're not really dry. They're not dry. They're really like wet wipes. So I hate it when you get wipes and they're really dry and you have to use other products just to clean it down because it's not wet enough. These are really affordable. The non-bleach, non they smell really fresh and they last, they last ages and they're not horrible and dry. They're nice and moist, as you can say. I hate that word, but we use it anyways. Um, yeah, I just think they're really affordable and they're good for the price. Go out and get yourself some of these wipes. Because if you use, like, if you buy Dettles and things like that, Dettle wipes, you get, like, what, 20 wipes for two, three pounds where you go to Aldi and get a pack of eight wipes, which just goes a job for, what, 70p? Um, so other sources, I do like using the Fabulosa disinfectant. I use this on my kitchen benches. Um, if I run out of polish, I'll use this to go around um, polishing things um or disinfect things so i might go around polishing and then i might use this to disinfect stuff and um, like i said this just leaves a really nice smell as well it cleans and shines and it gets rid of odors and it's long lasting and it literally says what it does in the bottle and it's good for vegans and if this is affordable it's like a pound a bottle some places get it for like 70 80p it just depends where it goes different prices but it's never more than a pound for fabulosa and you know what it, it's just unreal everyone loves fabulosa and to go with it, I do have the Fabulosa Pet Disinfectant. So if I'm cleaning the floors downstairs, I might use this to clean it. It just smells unreal. I use this to clean my floors downstairs. Um, I use it to clean the floors upstairs in the bathroom. Um, I do dilute it obviously quite a bit. Just because obviously I have a dog and I don't really want it affecting his skin, having too much of it. So I like to... I, you do mix it but some people don't mix it some people just wet the cloth and then rub this all over the floor i don't do that i dilute it like most people as well it just depends i know some people who just get a wet cloth put this on the wet cloth and then do that on the floors but i don't do that i like get a bucket put hot water blah 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 the usual but i know some people who do it a different way um so this is the blueberry and cranberry and i think this is a pound or you can get some places which is like under a pound but it's never over a pound um, but you like, if you like stronger smells, um, I do like the Sephora. I do have the Sephora every now and then. I treat myself because obviously I bought a Sephora. This is a more affordable Sephora. 
Um, so this is like a pound where this bottle is like two to three pound just depends where you go um but it does have a stronger smell not gonna lie i do prefer the flora over the fabulosa but on a cheaper scale the fabulosa you get your money's worth you get a pound and it's like double size the bottle um and it does smell nice obviously this has just got a stronger smell really um so yeah well i treat myself and like buy myself a bottle of flora um Obviously for carpets upstairs, I can't really use the floor and things like that. So to freshen my carpets, I do use the carpet freshener quick dry and fine form. I just sprinkle that on all my carpets and, and just leave it soaking really. And it's not too intense, like the Fabulosa do a carpet form one as well. Um, it's alright, just I feel like it's really strong to the point it chokes you. So I feel if I do buy that one, I do have to stay downstairs until it like dies down the smell a bit i don't know if it's using too much but i feel like i don't use that much and it's still really intense the smell um so i prefer this one because it still smells nice it's just not a smell of refreshing to carpet soaks in your carpet it smells nice you just don't end up choking on it so it's a bit more expensive but i like it um for my windows and you know mirrors and things like that I just use this one. It is vegan friendly. I think it's only a pound a bottle. Like it says, you can get it from home bargains, you can get it from B&M's, you can get it from anywhere. I just use this because, I don't know, I saw everyone else using this brand. I cannot pronounce it, so I'm not going to try pronouncing it. But I thought, you know, I'll give it a go and I've been obsessed with it since because I used to use the vinegar because everyone said vinegar spray was quite good. So I used that. Wasn't a fan of it, not going to lie. I was not a fan of the vinegar spray. Um, it left things really streaky. I don't know if I was using it wrong, but this one leaves things perfect. You don't get no streaks or no nothing. Um, so yeah, that is that. And the last thing to refresh in my house, I'll go around with the Airwick Soft Cotton. This is my favourite spray ever. Um, basically, I just love this spray. It's just a typical spray. And you kind of get enough of it. It smells unreal. I can spray this all day long and I will not get sick of it. Um, so that is my favourite spray to freshen up the house if I don't think it smells nice enough as it is. Uh, so yeah, this video is getting pretty long just for a cleaning haul. Um, probably the longest video I've did so far. So that's just, yeah, that's it really. So that is all my products I like to use in my house. They are my favourite products this month. They do change time to time, but they have been my favourite products for the last six months. Um, and I haven't changed them since then. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.